The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. Remember that we can create a dilation by multiplying each of the coordinates of a given figure by the same scale factor to create a new figure which is similar to the first. So here, to determine whether this graph represents a dilation, we need to compare the coordinates of corresponding points. For example, notice that point K corresponds to point C. Point K has the coordinates 1, 1, and point C has the coordinates 3, 3. So we can see that the coordinates of point K, 1, 1, have been multiplied by a scale factor of 3 to get the coordinates of point C, 3, 3. Next, notice that point L corresponds to point D and that point L has the coordinates 2, 1 and point D has the coordinates 6, 3. Again, the coordinates of point L have been multiplied by the scale factor 3 to get the coordinates of point D, 6, 3. Next, notice that point M corresponds to point E and that point M has the coordinates 2, 2 and that Point E has the coordinates 6, 6. Again, the coordinates of point M have been multiplied by the scale factor 3 to get the coordinates of point E, 6, 6. Finally, notice that point N corresponds to point F and that point N has the coordinates 1, 2. and that point F has the coordinates 3, 6. Again, point N has been multiplied by the scale factor 3 to get the coordinates of point F, 3, 6. So we can see that all of the points of figure K, L, M, N have been multiplied by the same scale factor, 3. So yes, this graph represents a dilation.